Chicksters. Hi YouTube, it's Chi Chi again from Sopo Chic. Hope you're having an amazing week. Today's video is going to be all about shapewear. So when I made my last shapewear video, I did not realize that it would be my most watched video. I was just sharing some of my tips and tricks um, when it came to shapewear and you guys, the feedback was phenomenal. Um, even up to, even though that video is like about close to a year old, even up to like last month or at least December, I was still getting questions from that video. And honestly, there was one question that I got a zillion times. So I thought I would just make this video. So, so in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you more tips and hacks. I'm also going to be answering some of those burning questions that you guys have. And then finally, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a review. So if this is your first time seeing my face, hi, I'm Chi Chi and this is my channel. You can expect informative videos like this one, lookbooks, hauls, styling videos, and lifestyle content like vlogs. If that sounds like something you're into, then please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. So if you have not watched my original video, my original shapewear video, definitely check out that video for shapewear basics. So I basically break down the types of shapewear there are, and I kind of um, give you tips as to what outfit you pair with what shaper i for whatever reason kept on seeing this brand pop up in my feed so i figured if i'm seeing it you're probably seeing it too because you know the algorithm pretty much targets based on demographic so the brand that i kept on seeing pop up on my feed is the shaper mint brand i picked up three items and i got them shipped individually so individually wrapped when you open it up, what you expect to see is a Ziploc bag thingy like this. And it kind of tells you what shaper is in here. And then they also have a 20% off um, coupon. It is called Shape Gal 20, okay? It says, hi gorgeous, every woman deserves to feel sexy and confident in her own skin. And that's why we created Shaper Mint because sometimes all we need is a little support. All right, so this is what the shaper short looks like. Now, right off the bat, some of the things I noticed on this one is that it has, um, the waistband is like reinforced. So it's a lot thicker around the waistband. I also noticed that it has like another panel right underneath the waistband. So towards your, um, lower abdomen okay and that's another bit of reinforcement down there and then the re the leg has the least amount of reinforcement it also is like seamed around here which is not usually the best and then i think my favorite part of this garment is that it has this um i don't know what to call this like rubber grip around the circumference and that this is supposed to help this item adhere to your body and not move. And I picked this up in a 3XL. So the next item that I picked up was the high-waisted shaper panty. So it's super high-waisted. It also has the elasticized bit and I also got this in a 3XL. Um, it has, again, ribbing around the core area, so around the belly area, and it's kind of like a loose panty material on the bottom. And for the most part, I will say that if I had to compare control, I feel like the biker shorts gave me more control around the midsection than the high waist panty. So the last item I picked up from Shaper Mint is actually their leggings. They had Shaper leggings. It's a high waisted shaping leggings. I'm super uh, curious to see how this fits. I'm a huge fan of high-waisted leggings. My favorite leggings, hands down, are from Zella and Lease, and I get those at Nordstrom. So when I saw this on the website, I was like, okay, let me try it. It's basically made out of the same Spanx fabrics, 
as the other. It's this also came with the extra paneling up top. It came also with the elasticated grip at the top. I also picked this up in a 3XL. So now let's talk about some of the questions I got. One of the questions I got that was super interesting, she says, I've never worn shapers, but need them. Where does all the fat go when you put the shapewear on? Does it all go to the breasts and suffocate? Or does it all go to the thighs? It has to go somewhere. So basically, shapewear is meant to be more of like a compression garment because remember your fat is kind of spongy so what it does is that it compresses the fat and then sometimes it also redistributes the fat so anytime you see like extra paneling in some areas and differences in fabric type that's usually the shape where they put in those panels to kind of redistribute your fat and push it into places that are more desirable so that is what happens to your fat. Another question I got was, I have a pooch. I have tried every shapewear to flatten the stomach. Nothing is working. Please help. So I totally understand that I have the lower belly pooch. Um, and so I know how difficult it is to find shapewear that kind of addresses that. I'm I have like the ideal shaper in my head and maybe one day I will actually make it a piece of shaper that def that would um, address that lower abdomen issue. So here's what I want you to look for. This goes for everyone. You need to look for shapewear that is designed for the area you are trying to de-emphasize, okay? So for example, if you carry weight up top, you definitely want to maybe invest in a tank top style shaper that will smoothen all of your back fat and things like that. If you carry weight around your hips, you're probably going to look for the biker short brand or the biker short style because that will smoothen and shape your lower half. If you really want to smoothen out that lower abdomen area, you're going to have to look for shapewear that has extra reinforcement around the midsection and extra reinforcement around the lower pooch. Sometimes you might have to combine two pieces of shapewear. I wanted to wear this bodycon dress a long time ago and I remembered that I, um, I read or I saw where Essie Golden stated she has really, really voluptuous breasts, stated that when she wants to wear a bathing suit and keep her girls up, that she would wear two bathing suit tops together to keep her girls held up. So I took that tip and I decided to, you know, put, put it towards my shaper. So I, I wore a corset style shaper Okay, and then I wore a biker, a high-waisted biker, and that really helped smooth out that area. Now, that's a lot, okay, I have to be honest. That's a lot, okay, a lot, a lot. <laughs> Would I recommend it? No. Um, sometimes you just have to work with what Jesus gave you and be confident, but if you... All right, so the question that I got the most out of all of the questions was, how do you keep your shapewear from rolling down? And the number one way to keep your shapewear from rolling down is to buy the correct size. The main reason, okay, shapewear rolls down is because of sizing. When you buy the wrong size, okay, the shapewear buckles under the immense pressure from your fat. So that's why it's important that you buy your correct size. Now there are a few things, of course, to keep in mind after you pick your correct size, and that is to look for different things. So the first thing you wanna look for is to look for does the shapewear have um, plastic grips like this. How is the shapewear hemmed? Is it a smooth hem like this? Is it a laser cut hem? The perfect combination would be a laser cut hem with these grips. 
these grips stick to your skin and they prevent your shapewear from rolling down. If your shapewear hits you at a part that goes in, there's a chance that the shapewear is gonna um, roll down. Now my waist goes in, right? So I always pull my shaper above my waist to prevent it from rolling into my waist, okay? And getting lost in between my folds. The next thing you want to do as far as getting your shaper not to roll, roll down at the top is to use your bra, okay? Your bra as an anchor to keep the shaper from rolling down. So tuck the shaper into your bra, okay? That's why I really, really like these high-waisted panties. Now, as far as the leg opening, right? How do you keep the leg opening from rolling. You're gonna wanna look for shapers with the silicone grips, with the laser cut hem. Very, very important for this area of your body is that you're gonna have to make sure that you are wearing the correct size. And this may mean sizing up. I get it, everybody's not shaped perfectly. Sometimes your waist is, you know, the ratio, if you're like a pear shape, your hips and butt are like sometimes two to three sizes larger than your waist or whatever. But then in that case, you're going to have to maybe buy a different shaper for your top half and a different shaper for your for your bottom half. The biggest misconception that um, most of us in our community make is that we think shapers are made to make you two to three or four um, dress sizes down. If you do that, you will always have the bulge, you will always have the roll, and it will always not be flattering. Everybody will see your fat popping out of the hems of your shaper, and you don't want that. So if you have not seen the first video, definitely go check, it, check that out for shapewear basics and even more tips and tricks. If you want more videos like this, I have a guides playlist. Make sure to click the show more button and of course I have my styling video so if you love lookbooks if you love hauls all of that is down below for you let me know in the comments below what is your number one issue with shapers or shape wear did I answer the question for you today if you liked this video make sure to share it with a friend and don't forget to rate comment subscribe and share I don't know if it's the 20s when they did the silky dresses, but it is this gorgeous, ruffled,